welcome back to my channel so i'm finally on holiday guys and you know what that means it means there's going to be a good amount of content coming your way so i hope you guys are ready i hope i'm ready to film all of that content for you guys and the first rollout and all of that content is this foundation review so if you've been on my social media platforms you would have seen this foundation and this is the avon true foundation and that's what we're going to be reviewing today so if you'd like to see the demo of how i use the foundation or rather how i put on the foundation if the foundation matches me and if you'd also like to see my wear test because even though i'm filming in the middle of the night because i love you guys <laughs> i'm gonna keep the foundation on for a few hours to see how it wears to see if it changes over time and yeah pretty much all of that good stuff that everybody wants to know when they want to buy a new foundation so if you're interested in the avon true foundation then do keep watching also thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't do click the subscribe button down below if you want to join the family and if you enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up but until the next clip i love you guys and god ever stay blessing you Mwah. So the foundation that we're going to be trying out today is the Avon True Color Foundation and this is what the bottle looks like and the shade that I have this in is in the shade um, G410 which is caramel and the foundation has a pump as well which you guys know is like legit a serious thing for me because foundations that don't have pumps are really messy and they make you waste a lot of products so if it has a pump it is an A++ for me just with the packaging so what we're going to do now is we're obviously going to go through the foundation claims because on my channel whenever we do foundation reviews we need to know what the foundation says it's going to do for you before we test it out so that's what we're going to do i'm going to read it for you from this month's avon magazine and we're going to see what it says about the true color foundation and then we're going to try it out so it says that it's a liquid foundation obviously that i'm trying out and it's a full flawless coverage formula that's supposed to last all day long and then it's also formulated with color iq technology that's supposed to shade match your skin tone and then it also has a convenient pump as we've already seen and this is for mess free application and i also have a bit more information that i checked out that i just want to read for you guys and it also says that it conceals imperfections so again full coverage and then um, it also stays true to color all day so it doesn't oxidize so the color it is when you put it on is the color that it's going to stay the entire day and then the last thing is that um the pigments soften your skin and then this helps you get like an invisible flawless kind of finish okay so basically a full coverage flawless foundation that's supposed to last all day and that's supposed to match your skin perfectly is what we're expecting to get with this avon true color foundation so now we're going to go into testing the foundation so we're first going to see if the shade that i have is actually made for me and if it's a perfect match for me and then we're going to wear the foundation for a while to see how it lasts throughout the night because i'm filming this in the middle of the night as is, <laughs> as is my norm so i'm actually not going to wash my face after i do this i'm going to keep the foundation on to see how it stays on for a few hours so you guys better know that i love you because i'm going to stay awake testing a foundation for hours <laughs> just to see if it works for all of you guys so before i keep rambling let's get on into testing the foundation so i already primed my skin and now i'm just gonna go in with the pump directly onto the face so we're gonna start with mm, i've got extra products on there but we're gonna start with these basically is this one pump or would it be i pressed it once so we're gonna start with this one pump of foundation and we're gonna see how far we can stretch just one pump to see how full coverage the foundation actually is So match wise, I actually think this is a really good match for my skin. Actually, as you guys can see, I feel like it's disappearing into my skin beautifully and um, it matches my neck really well. So as far as is this the right trade for me, I would say the answer to that question is a resounding yes. Tell me what you guys think in the comments right now. If you guys think this foundation matches me properly or if you think it's the wrong undertone or do you guys think it's a yes because i think i think this is a legit yes i think the foundation shade matches really well so i've put one pump on my brush then i'm just gonna dab that on my forehead because i think i still need some more coverage there then over these spots here then the corners of my mouth and then the rest of my face 
and then I'm patting the foundation in to these areas because I want the coverage to stay concentrated in one area I don't want to buff it out over the rest of my face and this helps you to like cover specifically where you put the product and not necessarily buff the product all over your face so you don't have to cake your entire face with foundation you just need to focus the product where you need it the most so I've also got a second lighter shade of the foundation which is this shade and this shade is soft honey and I'm actually going to use that to highlight under my eyes. So hopefully you all can see the effect that I was going for with using uh, basically the foundation shade that I have for my all over face color and the lighter shade that I have to highlight my face because now I've been able to highlight my face but still have a seamlessly blended face because I'm using the exact same formula of product on my face just for two different aspects of my makeup application so it really helps you create a flawless flawless finish um, so if you do buy two different shades of the Avon True Color for instance you can use it as a foundation shade and as a highlighting shade as well and a contour shade if you buy a darker shade so the time now is 1 13 but I actually finished doing this makeup and all of that at around 12 o'clock because I changed my mind about the head wrap that I had on and all of that stuff so I've actually had the foundation on for an hour and 13 minutes now so this is going to be our first check-in slash time confirmation kind of situation so as you guys can see it is 1 14 right now so that's going to be we've had the foundation on for an hour and then we're going to count the rest of the hours going on from there so i think i'm probably only going to make it to like maybe three four hours because <laughs> i need to sleep as well so we're probably going to do this until like maybe three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning to see how the foundation looks but for an hour's wear i feel like it still looks pretty good let me come closer so i can show you guys so this is what my face looks like after an hour so I still think it looks pretty good. Everything that was sitting on my face is still sitting on there really nicely. The rest of the makeup didn't disturb the foundation. And it played very nicely with the other kids. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. So we'll see if this is what I look like in the next hour. Which should be 2.14 if we're being exact. Or pretty much just 2 o'clock. But so far, so good. So I'm back again and this is check-in number two and the time now I've actually gone a bit over time is 2.36 So now we've had the foundation on for about two and a half hours if I'm just estimating Yeah, so from 12 o'clock um, when I finish with my makeup, it's half past two now So I've had it on for two and a half hours and I'm gonna scoot in a bit close again so that you guys can see What the foundation looks like at this point. So as you guys can see pretty much still looks the same as it did before um there is just like a little bit of creasing around my smile lines because i was taking photos so i was smiling a lot <laughs> so that's how we got the crease lines around the mouth area but otherwise the foundation hasn't separated anywhere still pretty much looks the same way that it did when i put it on um and yeah like i said earlier on in winter your foundation really doesn't tend to want to run off your face it doesn't want to melt off your face it really just stays put so even this even though this isn't like a full-on matte foundation it would still hold up really really well in winter so it'd be a very very good winter foundation so just to confirm the time for you guys um it is 2 37 a.m if we could focus there we go so it's 2 37 a.m now and the last time i checked in was at quarter past one so yeah two and a half hours in and we're still going strong and we're still going good hi everyone so i'm back for my final check-in so now it is to show you the time it is 3 42 in the morning so pretty much we've had like another hour and about 15 minutes so now in total i've had the foundation on for almost four hours pretty much so from 12 o'clock until 3 42 so three hours and 42 minutes in total and i'm pretty happy with what the foundation looks like now um for three hours of wear i think it's pretty good i know that i haven't been like obviously running around or doing anything I don't know that would make me sweat or anything like that but i mean if you were wearing the foundation to go to work or to go sit in an office or to go to school um this pretty much could would be like the same setting that you would be in so i think the effect or rather the 
final results would probably be the same for you as well so we're gonna scoot in one last time so you guys can have a look at what my face looks like so we're gonna do a basically an overview of the foundation pros and cons so the con that i would say i experienced with the foundation is the creasing around my smile lines and under my eyes and that isn't something that i'd specifically say is the foundation's fault um because it is something that i experienced with other products i do have smile lines around my mouth area and then creasing under my eyes that does tend to cling to product so that's pretty much why i always get that creasing but i had to mention it so that it's not like uh something that i hide so that's why i didn't pat it down or whatever because you can counteract that with some powder but i didn't want to pat it down and hide it to make it seem like there was nothing um wrong with the foundation in total or my experience with the foundation rather in total so that's the only con that i could say that i experienced which is the creasing um around my smile lines and under my eyes but moving on to the positives the foundation did say that it was going to give us good coverage which i do agree with because i would say that the foundation is a medium to buildable coverage foundation which isn't necessarily a negative if you're somebody who wants more flexibility with your foundation you want to sometimes wear minimal makeup and then other times wear really full coverage makeup a medium to buildable foundation works a lot better because you can tailor the product to what you need at the time a full coverage foundation from the jump is a bit difficult to water down so you basically have a full coverage foundation all the time and that's pretty much all that it can be but a medium to buildable coverage foundation gives you some room and that's what this foundation does and i appreciate that and i do appreciate that if i wanted more coverage than this i'd be able to add some more and still not have my skin feeling like it's caked up with foundation which is a plus plus for me and the next thing is that the foundation doesn't oxidize which is great because it means that the foundation shade that you pick out and that you test out on your skin when you initially put on is going to be the foundation shade that you're gonna get so you don't have to worry about your face turning orange over time or needing to combat the orangeness with some other products you really are just gonna get the exact same shade um, that you tested on your face which i think is really really brilliant because sometimes it's difficult to gauge what shade just your foundation is going to turn into if it is a foundation that oxidizes and then the next thing i have to check <laughs> is that it's supposed to match your skin tone perfectly which i agree with for me specifically this foundation is a really good match for my skin so i'm really glad that i found my perfect shade in the avon true um foundation so i really am happy with my shade match undertones as well as the general color of the foundation i really do like that and then the last thing is that the foundation did tell us that it had a pump which was going to make it very convenient which i agree with because pumps always help you be more sparing with product and it just makes more economical sense to have pump on a foundation than to be pouring it out on the back of your hand and then in terms of the seamless finish that the foundation was supposed to give us i do agree that it gives us a very seamless flawless finish especially because i coupled two different shades of the foundation one to highlight and then one to use as my all over base color and if i did have a darker shade i would have also used it to contour so i would have gotten an overall seamless finish so using the same foundation products to basically do different stages of my base helped me achieve an even more seamless looking face so i do agree with the fact that it will give you a flawless looking finish that i really appreciate and that i really love so i hope you guys agree with me if there's any questions that you have oh no 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 I forgot the price point you guys are going to ask me how much it costs <laughs> so the foundation costs 229 rand um so it's a more mid-range um foundation and i think it's a fair price because it's a foundation that is going to last quite a while on your face and especially in the winter time this foundation is perfectly suited for the winter because it's a satin finish foundation so it's not going to dry out your skin but you're still going to get that extended wear um out of the foundation which i appreciate so Overall, I would say that I like the Avon True Color Foundation. And if you do have a shade in it, then you should definitely go try it out. And you know that the foundation um, products from Avon are just Avon products you get from distributors. They don't sell them in store. So you just need to find an Avon representative near you to purchase, to purchase um, your Avon True Color Foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review overall. Um, tired i'm gonna go sleep now um i hope you guys appreciated the whole wear testing and not just the i put on the foundation and i say it looks great and i wash it off so i hope you appreciated me keeping it on for an extended period so you guys would see how it wears overall but pretty much for me i would say that's it i think i'm done and now it's four o'clock so i've actually had the foundation on for four hours in total so this is a four hour wear test but until the next video guys let me go sleep 
wash my face and sleep i love you guys and god ever stay blessing you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel Mwah. bye guys